Hello and welcome once again, one and all, to another round of Fatal Fisticuffs on Grudge Match Unlimited, the show that scours the depths of the fictional worlds and compares the toughest among them against one another to find out who is the superior combatants. Today's episode finds two of the most astonishingly powerful anti-heroes colliding. From the world of comics and the mind of Todd McFarland, the harbinger of hell, Spawn, and from manga and the world of Helsing, Alucard. Now, both of these characters are extreme anti-heroes who are born out of darkness and dark power, but have decided to fight on the side of good. And they use their vast array of dark powers in order to do exactly that. Also, both of these characters throughout the run of their storylines have attained near-omnipotent godlike status of power, but we're going to be comparing them on the basis of how they started out in their respective series, which still puts them both on extremely high levels of power. So taking a look at them individually, starting off with Spawn, first created in 1992, his real name is Al Simmons, and he was originally an assassin for the government. He was eventually murdered and sent to hell during one of his assignments gone wrong. While in hell, he made a deal with the current ruler of hell, Malbolgia, in order to see his wife again. He agreed to lead the armies of hell and become a hell spawn, one of hell's most powerful agents. And because of this deal, he was sent back to Earth as a horribly disfigured Hellspawn with a vast array of superhuman powers. Those powers include a necroplasmic body, which is virtually immune to any kind of damage. It can sustain damage, but his internal organs no longer function. He can't really be harmed by being damaged in his body. He also has a symbiotic costume that is attached to his central nervous system, and it's a living entity in and of itself. It actually has a name, Letha of the Seventh House of K, so his suit is actually alive, and he doesn't have to use any of his own energy in order for its powers to function. That includes shape-shifting, the cloak turning into various weapons, and stabbing implements, things like that. And Spawn also has a vast amount of magical energy that he can use to virtually any effect. Things like energy projection and manipulation, teleportation, instant healing, matter manipulation, shape-shifting, time manipulation, reality warping, virtually anything he wants to do with that energy he can make happen. The downside of it is that there's only a finite amount of it, and once he runs out of that energy and it runs dry, he dies and goes back to hell. Spawn has used these abilities throughout the course of his series to fight off both the denizens of Hell, the various different levels of Hell sending their minions after him, as well as the Agents of Heaven. He's fought angels, as well as other mystically empowered Agents of Heaven, and various other creatures and entities and powerhouses that he's run into, and he's fought them all off, up to and including run-ins with God and Satan themselves. Alucard, first created in 1998 for the Helsing manga, Alucard is the word Dracula spelled backwards, and that is actually how he started out in life. In 1431, he was born as Vlad Dracula III. He was an Eastern European warlord and a very brutal person who massacred many of his own people. And on the battlefield one day when his forces had finally lost, when he was about to be executed by his enemies, he drank blood off the battlefield and this cursed him and became potentially the first ever vampire. Now, as the first ever vampire and a true master vampire, he has a vast array of superhuman powers himself. And over the years, he's decided he doesn't like the rest of the vampire species, and he's decided to fight for the humans against the rest of the Dark Hordes. He's potentially the most powerful vampire that's ever lived. His powers include things like vastly enhanced physical abilities, shape-shifting, shadow control and bending of shadow, telepathy, mental control, intangibility, shape-shifting, instant healing, virtual immortality as well. And so, no matter what has ever happened to him throughout the Helsing series in terms of damage being done to him, he can always regenerate from it virtually instantaneously. Reduced down to nothing but a pool of blood, he'll be able to come back from that just as easily as the smallest of injury. 
as a servant of the Helsing organization working for humanity against the legions of the undead, he's had various restrictions placed on the amount of power he's allowed to use at any given time so as not to allow his full dark power to have free reign. But he also has the ability to release these mental locks himself. So oftentimes throughout the series he'll be heard to remark before he starts a battle, releasing up to level 3 or level 2 or something in order to allow him the full use of that level of power in defeating his enemies. So he has the ability to release the locks himself, giving him access to some of his top tier abilities. So having taken a look at the backstories and vast array of powers that both of these combatants are bringing to the table, it's time to determine what would happen if they were to collide in one-on-one -on -one competition and have to declare a winner between the two. That winner's going to be... Alucard. Power to power, both of these characters seem to have virtually limitless amounts of dark energy and power at their disposal. A battle between them could potentially go on for days as they could each pull out new tactics and new ways of wielding their abilities and new powers to throw at each other. It literally could be a fight that could go for quite a while before a winner would be determined. But there are two factors that really play into how this fight would end up. One, Alucard has been seen to be completely immortal unless he wants to die. He's remarked several times that only a true human can kill him, which takes Spawn out of the equation in that regard, because Spawn, while he once was a human named Al Simmons, he is no longer. He is a Hell Spawn now, a creation of Hell. He may have a human soul, but he doesn't have uh, anything else that resembles humanity. He has a necroplasmic body, he's imbued with dark energy, he's not human any longer. And Alucard can't be killed by any amount of demonic energy or demonic power, no matter how powerful they seem to be. While on the other hand, Spawn while very powerful in his own right, can be killed, either through exhausting his supply of energy, which could happen in a fight with Alucard, have to use all of his dark energy against Alucard until he runs dry and then would die, or if he is beheaded, he can be killed in that fashion as well, usually only through holy weaponry, which Alucard might not have access to, so that might not be able to be as feasible of a way of executing Spawn taking his head off because Alucard wouldn't have that holy weaponry. But certainly through running Spawn's energy levels down to zero, that would be a way of finishing off Spawn. Even though it would take a long time for that to happen, Alucard would have the stamina to last that long in a confrontation against him. So two massively powerful dark heroes colliding, but in the end, Alucard's virtual immortality and inability to be killed by no matter how powerful of dark forces is going to give him the win of this grudge match unlimited. So message me down below, let me know what you think of the outcome of this fight, and as always, any suggestions for future grudge matches. We'll see you next time on the next edition of Grudge Match.